Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and you are in the series of Fundamental of Cyber Security. You see in the previous session we had seen a SOCAT tool uh, which is used to transfer data between two locations based on the port and the addresses. Uh, one is the listener and another one is going to connect to that listener, right? So in this session we're gonna understand uh, one another entity of uh, network traffic probe it's uh, something like a port redirection tool. You see that there is uh, this specific tool that is known as data pipe and data pipe is a network again a network utility tool but it is referred as a port redirection tool. So let me give you an idea here that this is a port uh, a redirection tool. Uh, you see that uh, there is a term known as port forwarding and uh, there is a term called as a port redirection. Well, both these terms we're gonna understand uh, in the second chapter of NET, when we will understand network address translation. Uh, I'll precisely uh, draw out some of the, uh, you know, analogy that how this port redirection and port forwarding is uh, is there, right? Uh, it is used in the in the network. Currently, or in the or in this session, you just uh, you just understand there is something called as port redirection tool, which is doing nothing. But uh, if you are having a port, uh, such as uh, if you are requesting something on a port number eighty, then it can redirect to a port number which you had given in the in the command. So if, it could be four four three. Okay, so it is a redirecting you on a different port. So it's a redirecting you to a different port. Uh, so basically what will happen in the whole command uh, the command if i show you of a data pipe so how can you run the data pipe it's an executable so i'm gonna make just like a data pipe so a data pipe and i'll say uh, maybe the ip address uh, to which you want to connect right so ip address and the port so let's say this is a port uh, uh, 8090 okay so if this is 8090 port which i want to connect to this okay this ip address in this port i want to come uh, connect but uh, i also append something else where i want to redirect so let's say this is www.google.com with a port of 80. so now you you can understand here that uh, i'm working as a data pipe here and i have two things here one is this IP address and port number and one is this domain name and IP address. Now you see what will happen. You are intended to connect to this IP address with a port number, but you will not be there. Okay, but you will not be there in the IP address of 8090, but you will be redirect directly to the google.com because you are using data pipe, data pipe, which is a port redirection tool. So it will directly uh, re uh, redirect you for, or forward you this port to this AT port here with a domain name. Okay, so uh, if you try this IP address in a port number, you will not be here, but you are here. All right, so this is actually the intended destination uh, other, uh, apart from this IP address in 8090. All right, so you are going to be here. This is your uh, this is your result, but not this one. Okay, you are interested in this IP address in 8090, but you will you will not be here. You, you will be here in the www.google.com. So let's see that how this can uh, uh, this can be implemented in the Kali. So by the way, this uh, data pipe is not pre-installed in Kali Linux. You need to install it from uh, the Bovine uh, GitHub. So I'm gonna simply write get data pipe. Uh, I'm so sorry. I think um, I do not know the complete w get here. So you can simply search here. I already had installed. So if you write Bovine uh, data pipe. So you will get a GitHub repository for it. It just has to, uh, you can use this one. It's a port forwarding, as I told you. Uh, there is a data pipe.c is available for you. So you need to, you just need to download this whole uh, bunch of thing. You can write here, w get. So I'm gonna simply say w get and paste the whole thing. So it will, uh, you know, download this whole data pipe dot get. So if you write ls here, you will get the data pipe dot get. I already have it basically. So um, I will simply say data data pipe. So this is the folder, and you can see the, in, inside this folder there is a data pipe dot c. So you can run this c uh, a c program with the help of GCC compiler. So you can write here that it is a GCC and give the output as data pipe, which I already had outputted. So I'm gonna, you can give any name here, no problem. This is an executable then. Uh, then 
this is the original file datapipe.c all right so this is the command to get this executable i already have it so i'm not uh, i'm not gonna run this command so i already have it so this is the way you can uh, get the executable now you need to run like data pipe so and then uh, give such as 192.168.117.130 with a port of 90 and uh, 80 let's say the i let's say the domain name where i want to redirect is www uh, uh, let's say the website igno dot uh, ac dot n with a port of 80 so when i run this you see that the command is completely uh, you know executed and if i go to my browser and if i if i try to run uh, this 192.160 uh, 160 i'm sorry 168.117.130 with a port of 9080 if i do that you see that it is not going to run on this ip address but it will open the ignu.ac.n with a port of 80 you see uh, so now it, oh, okay it is directly connected to actually the thing is i had uh, you know earlier i had tried uh, the same port with this uh, sorry the university website so th that's why it is opening but uh, what you can do is i can change the port number here so let's say the port is 4444 and now if i if i try to do that one more time so let's see that how it works uh sorry 134 or 130 i guess uh, with the port of with a, i think it's numlock yeah so 4444 4, 4, 4. this is the port i had given so when i run this now you see that it is now opening the uh, the result so earlier what happened basically this port is being allocated to that uni that university website i had used uh, for for some uh, what do you call the practice purpose so i had written www.marwadiuniversity.ac.n uh, with a port of 80 that's why it is pre-appended 9080 with that uh, website and that's why it has uh, opened that university website now i had just had changed the port number 4444 and you see that it doesn't uh, you know it is not uh, redirecting me to this ip address 134 but it is redirecting me to the domain name you see that uh, it should write it should write here www.ignu.ac.it but instead of that it is showing me the ip address in the port okay so instead of opening uh, you know reading this it is reading this but opening this domain name with a port of that all right so this is uh, you know it's a port redirection tool and you can use it for various purposes so it is a kind of proxy here so let me put it uh, put down some notes here that it could be a proxy so this thing is uh, it it could be uh, it could be a proxy here uh, will uh, redirect you you to uh, google.com website with with your ip address and port number all right so this is what you had seen in the practical and old. Oh. Uh, okay, so this is the thing. Now you see that there is uh, one problem with this uh, data pipe. The problem is it works on TCP. Okay, so it is is having only TCP traffic. Okay, it is specifically meant for it. So uh, and uh, you know there is no UDP part here. So that's why this is a kind of disadvantage with the data pipe. And uh, we will see in the next session that how we can resolve it with the help of another tool. Thanks so much, guys. If you like this video, then hit that like button, uh, share this video. And if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe it. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in the next session.